morning garden people it is December 31st today 2016 and I wanted to do a short video here on one of my trees in front of you is a Boswellia sacra this is known as frankincense and it originates in Somalia it's also found in Oman and Yemen so most predominantly in the Arabian Peninsula. These trees have medicinal properties going back thousands of years. Actually the first recorded use of the resin of this tree dates back to 500 BC um, by Herodotus. I purchased this tree actually in uh, Tempe, Arizona from a company called Minia Tree. And just for size comparison, that stick in the ground was about the size um, it was when I planted this back in December 2013. You can see it's done very well here in our climate. Um, it's really put on a lot of size in the last two years. It's enjoying the weather right now. It's a mild 40s for the lows. When it's young, you really do need to protect it in the summer for its first year and then it's it's on its own. And it doesn't like the cold, it'll defoliate at that time and then branch back out in the spring. So how you extract the resin, it has boswellic acids, is people basically create an incision in the trunk, a wound, and it bleeds out a milky substance. That milky substance will become hardened off, and within three months it'll be completely solid and can be scraped off the tree. And what's important about these resins is that almost all disease is correlated to inflammation and boswellic acids within that peeling bark basically inhibit or block precursors to inflammation like Luke leukotrienes, so diseases like cancer, arthritis, asthma, ulcerative colitis, these are all highly correlated to inflammation and these acids block it. So um, it is used in medicinal ways, not just here in the U.S. but lots of other countries and also ceremonially um, it's burned as incense in churches, the Catholic Church, the Orthodox Church. It has an incredible scent, actually. Um, and even the seeds that come during the monsoons here have that milky substance in them. So this is what one can achieve in Arizona in four years. I haven't actually tried to root any cuttings, but we'll probably give that a shot next summer now that the tree has gained some size. I've also not tried to extract any of its resin, just not wanting to hurt the tree. So just a cool tree, um, and given that we're right around the holidays now, and that this tree is so highly correlated with Christmas, I thought it would be an interesting one to show. Hope you enjoyed it.